Hey everyone, this is a tutorial and review using the Jacquard Mendy Henna Kit available at Michael's Craft Store. I purchased this kit for about $6.99 on Michael's website and I've just recently fallen in love with the art of Mendy and henna tattoos and I really wanted to create my very own tattoo. So this kit contains a squeeze applicator bottle with 4 grams of henna powder, a 3 gram bottle of citrus sugar solution, a few cotton balls, one milliliter of eucalyptus oil, a tongue depressor for mixing, two toothpicks for artwork, cotton swabs for touch up, and one straight pin for clearing the nozzle, and finally a fine tip nozzle. First take the henna powder bottle and remove the cap and the seal from the bottle. Then fill to the indicated fill line on the bottle with room temperature tap water. Next take the tongue depressor to thoroughly mix the water and the powder until all the clumps are removed. and then add the whole vial of eucalyptus oil into the bottle and continue mixing for five minutes until the mixture is an even green paste. Once it's mixed together, it should look like this, slightly thick and not runny. Then reapply the cap and let the paste age for 45 minutes before using. While you wait, this is a great time to decide on a design for your tattoo. I am recreating a design I created a few weeks ago with liquid eyeliner if you saw the picture on my Instagram. If you're having a hard time freehanding, then you can try to use a white pencil liner to create a guideline for your design. After 45 minutes, take the depressor and give it one more quick mix before using. For fine lines, I attach the small tip of the nozzle to the bottle. And just a little tip I have, if you use a little bit of clear tape to wrap around the nozzle, it'll help to keep it on the bottle without falling off. Now you're ready to create an awesome tattoo design. The best thing about henna tattoos are the organic shapes and designs you can create, and you don't have to worry too much about any of the mistakes, especially if you're doing a more intricate design. The more complex, the better, but simple designs are great as well. If you make a mistake, immediately wipe away the area and try again. The paste stains quickly, but not instantly, so if you need to remove a mistake, do it right away to avoid any unwanted stains. Another tip I have is to wipe off the tip every few uses and that will help it to keep it from clogging and it'll also help keep your lines a lot neater. If the tip does become clogged with dried paste, you can use the straight pin included in the kit to clear it out. So according to this kit, it says the henna tattoo will last for about 7 to 12 days depending on how you take care of it. And a tip if you want to keep your tattoo longer is to apply lemon juice to it daily. It will help keep it darker and keep it more vibrant. And if you want to remove your tattoo sooner, then exfoliation is the best way to remove it. After you're finished with your design, allow the paste to dry for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the paste has hardened. 
Next, fill the citrus sugar solution with water and take a cotton ball and gently apply it to the paste. This will help the henna design last longer and stain darker. Be careful not to apply too much of the solution or it can dilute and blur the finer lines. Now leave the henna on your skin for as long as possible. The stain can be left on for up to about 12 hours, but usually around three hours is sufficient for an even dark stain. And after the henna has had time to stain, the instructions of this kit says to use vegetable oil and a cotton ball to remove the paste. However, I found that this didn't really work out too well for me, and I found it much easier to scrape off the paste under a running faucet with a plastic spoon. And this is the final result of my henna tattoo. I think the stain worked pretty well. As you can see, the stain initially is a bright orange color. However, it does darken to a slightly duller brown after a few hours. After this tattoo, I had enough paste left over for possibly eight smaller tattoos or maybe one or two larger designs like the one I did here. So overall, I really enjoyed using this kit. It was a fun way of applying my own henna tattoos. And I think that this would be a really great kit for parties and for friends. And overall, I'm just really happy with my result. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, the link is below. And until my next video, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.